irises. It's the time for irises to bloom in our garden. And I've had a lot of people to ask me, why are my irises not blooming? I'm your realtor, David Lott with Lock & Key Associates and your lifestyle editor with Boots and Bowties. And these were given to me by a friend about three years ago and they were just a small clump. And you can see they've really grown into this massive clump of irises and they're blooming beautifully. But why are yours not blooming? Well, if they're not blooming well, then it's because you haven't divided them. My great-grandmother, Ethel Locke, who was born in 1890, had a huge farm and she was an iris grower. And every summer she would have her field hands divide the irises. Now it doesn't have to be done every year. I would say every three years you need to divide them because irises only like to bloom off of new rhizome growth. So take them up, take the rhizome, cut it in half. It's a hot, sweaty job because you want to make sure that you're dividing them in August or September if they're the bearded iris kind. If they're the Siberian iris kind, you can divide them very early spring, right before they bloom. This is another plant I love. This is phlox, and I love to plant it around my irises. They bloom at the same time, and it's a great ground cover. Can you believe this was this big about three years ago? Again, I'm your realtor, David Lott, with Lock & Key Associates, and your lifestyle editor with Boots & Bowties, and I hope you'll have a springtime full of beautiful irises. If not this spring, next spring.